Hi, this is Aaron Esteban here, and in this video, I wanted to quickly demonstrate one of the new features of eBay Keyword Sniper Pro. The feature that I'm referring to is called the Spy on Competitor Shop, which uh, is a feature that allows you to quickly find the best products that your competitors are selling at their shops, or in other words, uh, which products are creating the most sales for them, and then how you can use their data to start selling either the same exact products or products that are very similar that could also do well at your shop. Okay, so let's take a quick look to see how this new feature is going to be able to help you out as an eBay seller. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click the Spy on Competitor Shop button here. And the very first thing that you're going to want to do is click this drop down icon right here. And as you can see, uh, I've already have entered in a list of competitors that I'd like to target to see what, you know, what's going on at their shops as far as the best products that they're selling. But the way that you can quickly come up with a list of sellers like this is to go directly over to eBay. And this, here's how I came up with this list. I typed in fishing as if I'm going to be in the fishing niche and I'm going to sell products that pertain to fishing. And you're going to want to select some of these top sellers here on this very first page. Um, and that's pretty much what I did. I went through this list here to see, you know, some of these guys that have had a lot of transactions. They've had a lot of, uh, you know, feedback. And um, so I've taken them and I've entered them into the software. And what you'll want to do next is uh, it, it's, it's optional. If you don't use this filter right here, then it's going to scrape every product out of their listings. But if you actually enter in, let's say, fish. I'll just keep it short for like fishing because I want to make sure that eBay is only going to return or the software is going to actually return the products that actually pertain to fishing from these particular sellers. So if you enter that here, it's going to make sure that's very targeted for the fishing niche. And you can see right here in this box that the default value is set to five for the number of pages that it's going to go into and scrape the uh, products from each one of these sellers that's here on this list. So you can change this number much higher if you wanted to, you know, to scrape thousands of products from each one of these sellers here. But uh, for time's sake, I'm just going to leave it at five in this video and um, we'll take a quick look. What it's going to do, like I said, it's going to go into five pages of each one of these sellers and it's going to collect all their items. It's going to make sure that it has fish within the title or, or somewhere within the product there. Um, so what I'll go ahead and do is click the start button and let the software go to work and um, you can see that it's gone to the first second it's going to third fourth and it'll go all the way to the fifth page for this seller and collect the urls and it'll go to the next guy in queue and it's going to go five pages deep and then all the way to it reaches the very end i'm going to let it go through to collect all the data and after that i'm going to explain what each one of these columns means and uh, how to use this data to your advantage. So I'll go ahead and let it do that and I'll be right back. Finished analyzing competitors store. Okay, so I'm back and you can see that it's uh, finished gathering some of this data. But before I actually explain to you what each one of these columns means and all this data here, I wanted to show you what the software just did exactly. So if we go over to eBay, and we click on the advanced search right here. What the software has done is it came in and because we said that we want to make sure that it's targeted for the fishing niche it and we set it right here where it says fish. We've also set it here on eBay. This is exactly what the software is doing. It went to eBay to perform this advanced search to enter in fish. And then as we scroll down to the bottom, you see that there's also another option to uh, select a specific seller that you want to target. So we would check this box here and we would take one of these sellers, for example, like this one, enter it in here. And when we click search, the software actually went through and did all this for each one of these sellers. Now you can see that casking is uh, the only seller on this page here and all his products pertain to fish as shown up here in the search box and this advanced search. So what the software did is it came to each one of his pages 
and they collected all of these products right here went down to the very bottom let me scroll to the bottom here if I can get there and it went to the second page it went to the third all the way to the fifth page and it gathered each and every one of these products uh, so it did that for each one of these sellers that's here on this list and that's exactly what is now shown here in this data that was collected in total for the 372 items between those five sellers that I've chosen to target. Okay, so from this data right here that was collected, how do we know which products are working? Which products are the best products for each and one of these sellers that's on this list? The two columns that you're gonna wanna go by is the number sold and the hot signal. Okay, and you can see that there's different colors here representing the different levels of how hot the product actually is. The darker red here is the hottest one, which says burning hot. Super hot would be the next level down, then hot is the, is the next level down after that. Now, if you see some that are actually in gray, like as shown here, um, that just basically means that these products haven't really proven to do anything spectacular for the seller, okay? They haven't really made that many sales for the product. There's no hot signals. Um, there's just no indication that those are good products yet. Okay, that doesn't mean that any of them couldn't potentially become one uh, a hot seller for them, you know, over time, but they just haven't proven to do that yet. So you all, you're going to want to use the ones that have already been proven time and time again to make them lots of sales. As you can see, this one right here at the very top for this particular seller, if we see what the product is, you can see the title of the product right here. You can see that this product has already gotten them 5,067 sales, okay? This is burning hot. And you can see that nine sold in the last 24 hours. There's also a right-click option. You can see the, you can actually view the seller's listing, you can view the seller's profile, you can view the seller's recent sales, you can view the seller's uh, recent feedback for this product. Uh, in this example, what I'll go ahead and do real quickly just to show you uh, is I'll click on the recent sales right here. And your default web browser is going to open up to the recent sales for this specific product. And you can see that today is uh, May the 3rd. And um, you can see the few sales that have already come through today. But between yesterday and today, within the last 24 hours, you can see that's already made them several sales. So that's a really good indication that this product's hot. It's still current. It's making lots of sales for them. And it's definitely a product that you want to consider going and finding a supplier for and adding the same type of product to your eBay shop. So that way you, you too can end up earning lots of sales for your shop. Okay. So let me take another look here at some other products. Um, let's see what else we have Two sold in the last hour for this product nine sold in the last 24 hours nine sold again this one has made them uh 12,615 sales so i'll go ahead and take a look to see what this particular uh, particular product is we'll view the recent sales again and you can see within the last 24 hours or so that it's earned them around this many sales so this is a really good indication that this product sells regularly. And if you were to scroll down, you can see that the sales have been very consistent for this product for each day between uh, last month and this month. So you're going to know for a fact that if you added this product to your shop and you were well search engine optimized, you're ranking on the first page of eBay search results for this product that you too could end up earning around the same amount of sales. Okay, so let's see what else is on the list here. We'll check one more, and then I'm gonna show you how to save these results permanently on your system. This next one shows that they got 1,813 sold within the last 24 hours. So we'll go ahead and view the recent sales for this product. And you can see, wow, look at all these sales between yesterday and today. That's a really good indication. This product's pretty hot. Okay, so okay, so now I'm going to show you how we can save this to a report by clicking this blue icon over here in the top right corner. 
and you'll have the save option to save it wherever you want you should always save it in your product reports folder and as soon as you click save your default web browser is going to go ahead and automatically open up this report the sellers report for the five guys that we've targeted under the fishing niche and as you can see we have this report here of all 372 um, items total and if you haven't noticed already there is a new search data box here for uh, it's basically like a filter so what you can do with this filter is narrow down to the all of the hot items or items that sold within the last 24 hours or whatnot so what I'll do in this example is I'll just type in burning hot okay and what that's going to do is show only the ones that have the burning hot indication as you can see all of these ones now are on the list with a little flame icon burning here so that's a really good way of filtering things down if that's how you want to see you know just the best results um, another thing we can look at uh, is sold in the last 24 hours or we can just type in sold in last like this sold in last and you can see now has only items that have sold within the last 24 hours or so so that's a really good filter to have if you want to narrow things down even more um, you also have the ability to click on this this column here where you if you want to view the actual listing or do you want to view the recent sales recent feedback you can click here I'll go ahead and click recent sales again and that's a really quick way of getting back to seeing their recent resell, uh, recent sales for this particular product also I wanted to show you the new filter option uh, that we have to filter down I mean this data here before we ever export it to a report we can click this filter icon right here and this new filter opens up with this filter we can sort it to where it, it we can filter out the ones that uh, don't have any hot indications for example we can click this right here where it says numbers sold must have hot indication okay so that basically just means that any of the ones in this column here with the number sold must have that hot signal in there okay so if we click that you can see that it successfully filtered out 286 items okay I got rid of all the gray ones it only shows the ones that have a hot signal and we can keep narrowing this down even more to the hottest items by filtering out the ones that have uh, we, we can remove items with a NA hot signal so that basically means any of the ones that doesn't show any proof that it sold within the last you know 24 hours or so they'll come back as an NA so we want to filter those out we want to make sure it's just the hottest items by clicking this and now you can see that it's uh, successfully filtered out 45 more items that time and we can also make sure that in the titles that's very targeted to a specific keyword like uh, we can make sure that the titles will have the keyword fish or fishing in it but I'll, I'll just put fish for short just to make sure that because it could be like instead of saying fishing lures uh, fishing hooks it can say fish hook it can say uh, fish lure so what I'll do is I'll just uh, keep the keyword really short just like this and click the filter option and now you can see this successfully filtered out eight more items now this list will be really rich very targeted for what I'm looking for as far as my search criteria goes and we have burning hot we have all the super hots and and just hot in general all the products will have the hot signal in there and it will also show that it has sold within you know the last 24 hours or so so then from here what we could do uh, you can see that it has left us with 33 out of the 372 products that it originally found we can go ahead and click the i the save icon again to export this to a report and click save and this time when it opens up you're going to see that it left us with only with only the hottest items total from um, all the products that it found previously so 
This is a really good way to narrow it down and to find the hottest items for any sellers that you want to target. You want to spy in on their shops. You want to check to see what products are doing the best. So that way you can then go out, find the suppliers for those same types of items. You'd rather be the same exact item or, or maybe something very similar. But either way, those products should perform well in your shop too once you get well search engine optimized. If you're interested in downloading eBay Keyword Sniper Pro so that you can get access to all these powerful features and benefits that the software has to offer, make sure that you click the link in the description of this video below so that you can quickly increase the sales for all of your eBay products. I'd like to thank you for watching and do not forget to rate, comment, subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to date with all of the latest eBay sales training that I have to offer you. So thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.